In this video, we're going to work with adding two fractions that have denominators. One denominator is a 10 and the other denominator is a 100. Now this is actually fairly easy because converting between these two fractions isn't difficult. Now remember, in order to add two fractions together or subtract two fractions, those fractions need to have the same denominator. So here, all of our fractions have different denominators. 10, 100, 10, 100, 10, 100, 100, 10. So we are going to convert these fractions to, in order to make equivalent denominators. Now, the easiest way to do that is to take all the fractions to the tenths and convert them to equivalent fractions where 100 is the denominator. And the reason is, in order to do that, all we have to do is multiply by 10. So, let's go ahead and do that. 4 tenths, oops, 4 tenths. Now, we need to have a denominator with 100. In order to do that, we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10. So we're going to get 40 one hundredths. So now what we have is 40 one hundredths plus 57 one hundredths and now I could add that nice and easily. I, all I have is 40 plus 57 and my denominator stays the same will equal a total of 97 over 100. Repeating the process I know that 3 tenths is equal to 30 over 100. Let's then take our other fraction down here and add it 16 100 we have 30 plus 16 add the numerators the denominator stays the same to get our answer of 46 one hundredths and we're going to go ahead and look at this next one a little more closely because it's easy to get tripped up when you see eight one hundredths but first we're going to convert nine tenths is equal to ninety one hundredths now notice here that this fraction says 8 out of 100. It does not say 8 out of 10. So we're going to add 8 one hundredths. And when we do that, add the two numerators. The denominator stays the same. And you have 90 plus 8, which is equal to 98 hundredths. And continuing in the last one here, 2 tenths is equal to 20 one hundredths. We're going to add... 64 one hundredths there and we're going to get 64 plus 20 add the numerator denominator remains the same for our correct answer of 84 hundredths that is how you add two fractions when one has a denominator of 10 the other has a denominator of 100 remember you always have to get common denominators before you can add or subtract two fractions